What's up, it's Cody, welcome back to the channel. So recently I was going through my Spotify for Artists page and just seeing how many streams my music has so far and seeing how much money it's made. And I thought it'd be a great video idea seeing how much money I make off of 100,000 music streams through Spotify. Um, I feel like that's something that's not really talked about and it's kind of almost uh, swept under the rug when it comes to the music industry. Nobody really talks about how much they're making off their Spotify streams and honestly, I don't even really know how much 100,000 streams makes or, or a million streams. So I wanna take a look at that today and break it down to how much per stream I've been making over the past few months. So this is my band Spotify for Artists page. We've done just about 400,000 streams since the record came out a year ago, which is really great. And we've, we've made some money off of it, but I wanna jump in today and see exactly Exactly how much we've made just off the past last 100,000 streams. So I use DistroKid to upload it to Spotify. Um, if you don't know how to use DistroKid, it's, it's really easy and it's probably the best way that I know of to get your music on Spotify and iTunes and all that stuff. I did a video on it a while ago, so I'll drop a link down below if you wanna go check out how to do that. I also have a promo code for DistroKid that'll get you 7% off if you sign up. So there'll be a link in the description for that as well if you wanna go ahead and do that. So something that I really love about DistroKid is they're able to break down all of your streams basically to the date that they happened from the store they came from and give you a really great breakdown of exactly where all the money's come from. So if I go to my bank over here, you'll see the total amount that we've made in the past couple of years, which, which isn't a staggering number, but, but it's not too bad. But if you go see breakdown by store, you can see of all of this exactly what the breakdown is between iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, all the different streaming platforms. But if you go down even further, there's see excruciating detail which that's what we're gonna be looking for so that we can get very detailed numbers of exactly how much these different uh, music streaming services have been paying out. Really quickly while this loads, if you do find a video like this helpful, drop a like down below and drop me a comment if you wanna see more stuff like this. I'd love to do one comparing Spotify to Apple Music Streams and see who pays more. So yeah, drop a like down below and subscribe so that you don't miss out if I do a video like that in the future. All right, so here we go. We can see all of Bellevue's streams through all the different songs and right now just Spotify. It, the list goes on forever, but what's really great is you can download this and pull it into a spreadsheet and it, it makes it look so much better. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's the spreadsheet. Here's all the stats that DistroKid provided me from Spotify specifically. We have the date that it was reported, the actual month the sale or stream took place, the store that it's from, which is all Spotify, the artist, which is all us, and then the title of the song, and then the country of sale. So it's really cool, it breaks it down by country and we'll show you how many streams you got in each country and then how much it paid. Spotify is really interesting. I did a little bit of looking into this earlier and it actually pays out different amounts depending on what country you're in. You'll notice these two both had one streams, but the difference in what they paid out is huge. This one is paid out 10 times as much for one stream as somewhere else. So every country is gonna be a little bit different, but I just wanna see overall what 100,000 streams looks like. So these stats that I pulled up are from anything that was sold February 2020 dating back to October 2019. And that totaled basically almost exactly 100,000 streams, which is really, really great. It makes it convenient. I had to go back and do a little bit of editing, but, but basically I just deleted all the old dates until it was just about exactly 100,000 streams. All right, so here we go, the big moment of truth. How much did 100,000 streams earn me over the past three or four months? You ready? Ready for some staggering numbers? About $280. Now keep in mind, this is all in American dollars. Um, I live in Canada, so our, our dollar's a little bit weaker. So that's actually a bit more for me, which is pretty cool. But yeah, $280 on 100,000 streams. Now, what do you think about that number? Did you expect it to be a little higher or a little bit lower? Personally, I think, I think 100,000 streams is, is a pretty decent number. If you get your song playlisted on Spotify, or if you have a decent release plan and a little bit of marketing, I don't think getting 100,000 streams is an outrageous number by any means. If, you, if you're doing everything right, this is a very attainable number to get. So do you think $280 is enough to be paid out for 100,000 streams? I don't know. I mean, Everything I've heard says Spotify pays less than everywhere else, and I'd be super curious to compare this to, to something like Apple Music, for example. I've heard Apple Music pays a lot more. Um, if that's something you'd like me to do, drop me a comment down below and let me know. I, I think that'd be a really cool video, seeing comparing your streams versus Spotify to Apple Music. I know for us personally, our Apple Music streams are significantly less than Spotify, just because of all the playlisting. I think we had this entire record was playlisted on Spotify, so it really helped us push up our numbers. But yeah, I'd be curious to know the difference between the two, or even comparing other platforms as well. All right, so what I also did was I broke it down per single stream. So if you take $280 and divide it by the 100,000 streams, you get how much Spotify is paying out for every single stream. 
And the number for that is, is not even a penny. It's about a third of a penny for every single Spotify stream. So it's not great. It's not great by any means, but I mean, you get your song streamed three times and you've made a penny. I don't know. Is, does that seem all right? Does that seem fair? I know the way that Spotify pays out is every month they take the total amount of money that they've made from all of their, uh, all of their subscriptions and all of their subscribers. And then they basically take all the streams and divide that by the number, by the amount of money that they've made to come up with how much they're gonna pay out per stream for that artist. Now, it, uh, it does vary by every country and every region. They all have different payout rates. So three cents, or not, po point three cents is about the average of what they pay out. Honestly, I don't think that's a very good number. Um, I know Spotify gets a lot of flack about paying their artists not very well at all. And you gotta keep in mind, a lot of artists too are signed to record labels and they might be giving up 50% of this number or if they're on a major label, more like, 80 or 90% of this goes right to the record label. So could you imagine only getting $28 off of your 280, for 100,000 streams, you end up with only $28. But to be fair, the record label would fund the entire marketing and paying for you to go record it and shoot a music video or whatever it may be. But that really doesn't leave much money for the artist at the end of the day, that like, hardly any money at all. So I wanna know, what do you guys think of seeing the numbers like this? Do you think it's fair? Do you think Spotify is holding back and should be paying their artists more? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Let's start a discussion about this. I'm super curious to hear your guys' thoughts. And if you, if you like Spotify or if you like using a different uh, music streaming platform instead, drop me a comment down below and let me know. And uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And then maybe I'll do a Spotify versus Apple Music video in the near future. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.